Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza here. Welcome back to Let's Play Some More Stasis, where last time we got to watch a cat get exploded. <laughs> and that was a lot to handle. And then we got into this room, and after doing a crazy-ass cryptic room-draining experiment by looking at some weird writings on the wall, we were able to drain this out, and now... We have this pipe grip experiment to do where we used a lighter and a pool cue and it exploded in our face. But I have an idea on how to make it work so that we don't uh, literally melt all of our skin off. And so I will show you. Hopefully it'll work. I mean, there's a possibility that this may very well still completely blow up in our face. But I'm thinking instead of putting the, you know, putting the pool cue to the flame here where we did last time, Maybe we can do it up here. Maybe like he can reach down and, and, you know, when the thing blows up, he'll be far enough away. I'm hoping this experiment works, otherwise it's going to be even more it's hilarious and stupid. Since all of this happened. Shouldn't there be a rescue mission on the way? This is a deep space vessel. It can operate indefinitely. If it wasn't for the psychological effects of deep space trouble, she wouldn't even need a new crew. So nobody's looking for us. No, and even if they were, there's no way for them to find us. Three months is a long time adrift. So basically, you go on the ship and you're just going to eventually die. That's just kind of what's going on. And no one will ever, ever be able to find you. Okay, let's give this a whirl and see if it works. Because they definitely want you to do something with this, so this, is, this has to be the way out of it. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, it worked! <laughs> yeah! Awesome! Oh shit, look at that! Exposed elevator shaft ladder. Through the massive wound left in the side of the shaft, a sturdy maintenance ladder that survived the explosion can be seen. Sick! Oh, that's so awesome. And look, it goes down towards where this large drainage hole was, but it also goes back up. So we'll see what way we're going to end up going with this. Oh, Ty, we can go back up that way. Nice! Alright, this is cool. But wait a minute. Oh no, this is a problem. Because we still can't get into the entertainment block, and Tram Station B still has the whole environmental hazard thing. So what are we supposed to do? Because if, if we go back towards Tram Station A, there's that security office that had that weird... Um, motion sensor puzzle, but I we never picked up an item that we can use for that. I'm trying to think of other rooms. I mean, we already went into both rooms in the mess hall, and there was nothing there. We went into the entertainment block, and we picked up um, we picked up the the pool cue and the and the lighter. But the wait a minute. There was one other I oh shit okay hold on a minute there was one other item in the entertainment block that when we were in there we could interact with it and it was that oh and this might actually work there was in that that was weird um, in the entertainment block do you remember that that hologram projector that had like the 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 lady that was like totally twerking her ass off in there. Because that was like one of the only other items that we could interact with. I wonder if maybe we can find a way to grab that. And then maybe we could fiddle around with the motion sensor detector that way. Because we have to have some sort of item to trick that thing into working. I wonder if that's it. Oh, God, if, if this ends up working, this is going to be so clutch. I hope so. Even John's like, hey, man. Your guess better be right, because I'm getting tired of wading through shit for you. We'll see if it works, though. We'll see. I've, I've got a good feeling about it. It's literally the only idea I've got. If that's not it, then we're fucked. <laughs> so, I'm really hoping that putting our eggs in this basket ends up working out. And then maybe something inside of that security office can possibly help, uh, you know, get that tram access in a safe place. Otherwise, we're going to be in big trouble. I have no idea what to do outside of those things. Come on, Johnny boy. 
Get me to the Greek. Okay. Alright, so we're back here again. There's gotta be something with this. It just has to be. What does it say again? Can we use the drill? Come on, baby. It's the only item, it's the only thing we got. This is a useful drill. Yes, it is! <laughs> it fucking works on everything! <laughs> Atta boy! Tight! Oh, this is so great. Okay, well, let's go back down. I mean, we can't... We can't get out this way. Or can we? Hold on. Please let me use this door and get out of here. No? Shit. I thought for a minute there would actually be able to use that to get back out, but that would have eliminated the entire need for us to go through everything that we went through with the explodable door. Okay. So with this in mind, what exactly... How are we gonna pull off the... Do we just maybe put the holographic emitter down on the floor and then try to activate the thing and then trick the door? What's gonna be in there? I wonder. Because that... That's definitely a thing all its own. Hmm. There's got to be some sort of... I don't know. Like, I, I can't think for the life of me what could be inside of that security office in that little back room that's going to, you know, purify the air so that weird toxic substance isn't going to make us immediately, you know, fall on the ground choking and convulsing on all of our blood and guts. So... A little bit perplexed by this part of it. But time will tell. Time will tell. Okay. Now let's go get back up to... Uh... Hmm. Sorry about that. Get back up to the crew quarters again. And then we'll, we'll figure it out. Okay. All right, back to tram station A. Oh, I forgot about this already. Yeah. God forgive us and then smile. Yikes. Okay. All right, security office. I've got you now. Um, let's go put the holographic emitter by the door. It's just crazy. Although it's gotta work. It has to. Aha. Hey, here we go. Perfect. Okay, so, um... Computer terminal. Um... Here we go. We've got motion. Yes. Life support. Atmospherics. I can understand why they had all the extra security. Well, let's go check it out. There's a slumped over dead body in here. Rigor mortis has left the body a parody of a worker managing the controls. And then life support machinery, atmospheric control. Ronald Anderson. He's got two movie tickets here. I wonder what movie he went and saw. Is this it? Could this really be my golden opportunity? I've been transferred to security with a guy named Paul and some other guy whose name I don't quite remember. Kind of sounded like Sarge, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call him Sarge. Either way, I'm glad. Maybe I'll finally make real friends. I hope he does. i got a weird feeling that he doesn't, though. Paul is mean, but Sarge is okay. I kind of figured it would be the other way around. It looks like food supplies aren't coming in anytime soon. People seem upset, but there's a lot of alcohol around. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. It's late. What can I <laughs> what can I say? I don't drink much because my dad used to, and it got scary sometimes. 
Sarge is still nice when he's drunk, though. Even though he said he'd, even though he said I'd make a pretty girl. Yeesh. Had <laughs> somebody do that to me once. I went to a bar and a guy told me that I had a pretty mouth. Went to the other side of the room after that. We got a mystery package from the cloning vats today. I was even allowed to type the terminal entry. It's a, it's a, it's supposed to go to lab 18. Sarge says we're gonna put in a medical storage bay for now, though, or put it in a medical storage bay for now, though. It really, it, it makes really scary noises. It's named Samantha. I liked a girl named Samantha once. But then this guy, Anthony, was stalking her, and then she moved away. Paul just read that over my shoulder and reminded me that the PDAs are for work-related logs only. I don't like Paul. Sarge said I can type whatever I want. Well, Sarge is cool. Let's see. The whole ship just shook a whole lot. The power is out everywhere. Everything's locked down, but we get through some of it because we're security. I hope nobody got hurt when things were flying around in here. People are trying to get tram station B to work because A is closed. I think we killed some people today. Sarge is angry. He's beating on the window. I'm so confused. Damn, when they they killed people on Christmas? I mean, I would be glad to get on with this. Atmospheric control. Okay. This has got to be our... This has to be our ticket. Yeah, venting procedures. Yes. Atmosphere venting in tram station B. Cool. Oh my god, this is great. So now... Now we should be able to get into tram station B. Kind of welcoming a new, ch a little bit of a change of scenery. I hope that doesn't come back to bite me in the ass, though. Ah, see, all the stuff is gone. This is good. Now I can open the door without it fucking killing me. <laughs> I'm down with that. Control override. Let's open the door. Hey, hey, let's do it. I'm really hoping this is not the medical bay. Um, let's take the one that's not caked in blood. I think that's probably a safer choice. What the... Specimen transport, Specimen transport container. Switchboard. Okay. Black resin permeates through small perforations in the crate walls. Limb regeneration. A faint scratching noise is coming from the plastic box. Oh, I don't like that at all. Okay, is there anything I'm supposed to do with this? No. Okay, how about this? Project Kitchen Knife. We don't have any destination or anything set at this point. Whoa! Okay. Oh, well, I think I just saw a diagram for this just a second ago on something. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. Maybe this is it? I don't know. So, weird looking branch thing kind of in the shape of a U, and then this thing. I don't know if that even has anything to do with anything. Okay. Interesting. So let's try this. Let's do... this one. And then... Oh, wait, no. Okay. Well, hold on a minute. So we wanted this. 
and then this, and then this. Wasn't that supposed to be for something? Okay, maybe not. Okay, so this one, it's the, the box with this one, and then this guy, and then that. Is that not what we have right now? I thought it was. It's got to be something that we're missing then. It seems like we have everything set, but... Huh. What about this one? So this one is straight, the two dips, and then the branch. Let's try that one. So straight, and then the two dips, and the branch. And nothing works. Why not? I am really, really confused with this right now. Maybe we need to go the other way. Maybe there's something that we need first before we can figure this out. TM. Tram is not operational. What do you mean? Can you fix it? No. No, I don't think so. There is no other way out of there. There has to be. Look around. Fuck, this is all falling apart. Yeah, I would say that's about the... About the case. Roderick Callan, Quartermaster, Security Level 2. What's up with him? And why the hell is, like, his entire body missing? Destroyed tram. The gnarled wreckage of twisted steel sits hazardly in weight. What are all of these? Medical bay. This is it. Oh, okay. Perfect. Well, that was a good guess. A skull and crossbones warning sticker peels up at its edges, indicating that this container was once used to transport dangerous cargo. So, big U, branch, and then... Okay, I think I can remember that. Okay, let's go. I think we've got the right one this time. Okay, so we want... We want the big U, the branch, and then... Nope. Nope. Bingo! We got it. Perfect. Time to go jump inside. This is either brilliant or very, very stupid. Hey, it's the only way to get us there, man. We're getting one step closer to seeing our daughter. Specimen storage. Quarantine procedures initiated. Quantum storage device reset. Oh shit. Okay, let's see what we can see. Did it take away my neural drill just now? I think I'm on the right track. Yeah. You're on the medical bay level one. Your daughter is four decks below you. She is so close, John. So close. Okay. Oh, it took my fucking drill away. Oh, I'm so mad right now. That thing worked for everything. All right. This machine may run diagnostics on the specimens that arrive via the tube. And then we can leave. All right, guys. Well, this is what we're going to do. We're going to stop right here. Now that we finally made it to the medical bay, our daughter's so close. However, I still don't... I still have reservations about Taya. There's just something about her that I can't shake it. I, I don't know what it is, but I just can't shake it that she's going to totally fuck us over at some point. But who knows? 
So until then, my friends, this is your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza, saying when we come back next time, we're going to explore the medical bay. Let's see what comes out of that. There's blood all over the walls, so that means something not tight is happening. But we'll figure that out next time. So you guys take care, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one, everybody. Bye.